Hello everyone, this is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Welcome back to part three and the final video in my poinsettia play series. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create this really pretty gift tin here that was made with the poinsettia petals bundle as well as one of Stampin' Up's new round tins. So let's get started on project number three. The first thing I need is a scrap of soft seafoam cardstock. This is three and a half by five and a half inches. I'm gonna fold this cardstock in half and then I'm gonna take one of the layering circle dies. This is the exact same die that I used to create the circle for the shadow box card. I'm gonna lay this die over the folded part of the scrap cardstock, and then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine just like this. When it's done, it's gonna come out like this so that this folded part here did not get cut, and that means that we now have a little round card. So this is gonna be the base of our project. All right, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna make it look round and we wanna cover up this part here. So using this same layering circle die, I ran it through on a scrap piece of soft seafoam cardstock and I created two more circles. And then I also took a piece of the poinsettia place designer series paper and I ran it through one more time, cutting out a piece of designer paper that looks like this. So now let's adhere all these pieces together. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my liquid glue and I'm going to place it on the front of this card. Then I'll take one of the circles and I will glue that over the top, like so, okay? Then I'm gonna flip the card upside down and then I'm going to put glue on the back of the card. What we're gonna do next is I'm going to place the designer series paper over the top of this layer. So I have my des designer paper. I wanna have this piece on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add some glue to the back of that circle. And I'm going to press that on the front of our little round card. For the next step, we're gonna do some stamping. So I'm gonna take the poinsettia petal stamp set. I'm gonna use this thank you image right here. And then I'm going to be inking this up with early espresso ink. I'm going to open up my little card and I'm going to stamp that thank you sentiment right there. Okay. Okay, so once the sentiment is stamped inside there, now we're ready to build on the top of the card with our flower. So let's go ahead and make the flower. Now I created the flower with the poinsettia um, dies and these are the pieces that I used. I used one of each of the flower petals, two of the leaves out of sea foam. I did the berries out of the brush metallic gold cardstock. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the largest flower and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Then I will add the second one and I'm going to just twist it so that the petals are layering on top of each other and kind of filling in the gaps, okay? Then I'm gonna take a little bit more liquid glue. If you've been following along in this series, then you are probably way ahead of me by now in putting your flower together. <laughs> and then the final thing I'm gonna do is take this little flower here and you can add this with a glue dot or I'll just put a little bit of liquid glue on the back and I'm going to place that in the center. And then the final one is this little copper brush metallic cardstock that I ran through that tiny die. And I am gonna go ahead and put this on with a glue dot. Okay, so our flower is eventually going to go here, but we want to embellish the background with a couple of leaves and with the berries. So I have this leaf here that I'm going to use, and then I'm going to use two of the small leaves. And then for this project, I'm only gonna use one of the berries. Now I'm cracking up because I just realized that when I showed you this, that little tiny die was not on my magnetic plate here. And that's because I have lost this little tiny die so many times while working on these poinsettia projects. So you can see how small this die is. So let me give you a tip. If you have little dies like this, or even when you're working with any of your dies, if you can pick up something like this, this, this is a little um, metallic container that this one came from like a, a mechanic store or a hardware store. Um, this is great to have by your embossing and die cutting machine because then you can put your little dies in here and this will keep them from getting lost. So I should have pulled this out, out a long time ago in order to not keep searching for this tiny little die, but that's just a little side note. Okay, so now we have the berries. Again, these berries were made out of the brushed metallic. 
um, cardstock. And for this particular one, I only die cut one because you can take your scissors and you can cut these and then you can spread them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this right here so that I just have this little cluster with the two berries on it. I'm gonna cut up that extra stem. Okay, so we have this little two berries and then we have all the rest and, that, and then that's how I'm gonna place them on this card. All right, the next tip I wanna give you is how to layer these pieces all together. So I'm gonna grab one of the round tins and I'm just going to lay this on the top. Okay, and so then we're gonna start with one of the leaves. I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back. And when I put the leaf on here, I wanna make sure that the leaf, the end of the leaf does not extend beyond the edge of the, of the tin. So I'm gonna actually pull it in a little bit more like that. Okay, so we just want it to go right to the edge and no, not further. Okay, and then I'm gonna take another leaf and I'm gonna kind of just put these in three different sections so that they're uh, in kind of like a triangle shape. So we have a little triangle here and then we have a little triangle here. So I'm gonna put another one right there. Okay, so put some glue here. And so what I kind of did is I just evenly spread them out going in three different directions like that. And you can always check, keep your flower close by just to make sure that when you twist your flower, you're still gonna be able to see those leaves, but that looks good. All right, so then we're gonna take this cluster of berries and I'm gonna place a cluster over here. And again, you see how I'm paying attention to not let those berries go beyond the edge of the tin. So then on this side here, I'll just lay the berries straight across like that and they'll be right next to that leaf. Okay, so now we're ready to adhere those down and I'm gonna do that with dimensionals. So I'm going to place a dimensional there and I'm going to place a dimensional there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put a couple more dimensionals to hold the flower down. Okay, I'm gonna move this off the tin now. I've taken the backing off the dimensionals and now you just take and you twist your flower until you have it on there exactly how you want it. But that looks really good. So if you're following along in the series, you know that the final thing that we need to do is embellish this with rhinestones. So I have my champagne rhinestones and I'm gonna add seven of them to this project. Okay, so I tried to get like maybe two close to the leaves. These are directly on the leaves and then one in the center. Okay, so there is our little sparkly card. Now, this card can certainly be fluffed up with your fingers. So if you want it to make it a little bit more three-dimensional, this flower looks just really pretty when you just take your fingers and you just gently lift the petals up and you can give it some dimension. Okay, and then how it works with our tin, there's a couple different things. First of all, with our tin, um, you can open the tin up and then inside the tin, this is a great place for a gift card. So this is a business card, but most gift cards are close to the same size. And you'll notice that the gift card won't lay in here flat like this, but it will, it will stand up like that. You can put a little filler in there if you want. And then that makes just a nice presentation for a gift. If you take a couple of glue dots on the back and you glue that on the tin like that, and then somebody would open this up and there would be the gift card inside. Another idea is because these were designed to be thank you cards and because you were careful in how you placed the embellishments on the side, you can drop this in the tin. You can make two or three of these and then when you close the tin, you'll be able to see that beautiful card peeking through the window of this tin. All right, well, our project is done and our series is done. So let me show you all the projects one final time and I hope that you enjoyed learning how to make these. If you were a part of my Aloha Mail card kits and you purchased a card kit for these projects this month, then thank you so much. I really love sharing my ideas with you and I hope that these were ideas that inspired you for your holiday stamping this year. So thanks again for watching my video today. I hope you all have a happy and blessed day. Aloha.